which brand has lost you as a customer? Victoria's Secret. In my 20s everything I owned was from Versus. Over time I realized the quality was declining, and the prices were absurd. I would have reactions to whatever they treated the fabric with and that was the last straw. I stopped buying from them. I have yoga pants in my closet nearly 10 years old from VS that are barely showing wear. Meanwhile the last 3 times I've been there I've worn my things out in less than a year. The quality has declined so much more than any other brand I've owned. Funny, my wife says the same thing, lately. She straight up buys from Amazon now haha. <laughs> Bank of America. Their ATM was down, so I had to go in and deposit my check. Paid all of my bills and had pretty much no money. This was during college and they hit me with a $10 service fee which overdrew my account and then they charged me a $35 overdraft fee. So, $45 I didn't have because their machine was down. The person I talked to on the phone was a complete dick and I decided to get rid of my account right then and there. He then gave me an attitude about cancelling. Fuck that guy and fuck Bank of America. Boa literally handed me a fake $100 and when I asked them to replace it with a real one they called the cops on me for trying to pass a fake bill. A fake bill they literally just handed me. The cops reviewed the footage and informed the teller and manager that they were at fault. The bank manager refused to acknowledge their mistake or apologize, so I closed my account. They had the nerve to try and retain me afterwards. Fuck Boa. Well, what can we do to keep your business with us today? Keeping legitimate legal tender would be a nice start. Expedia. God help you if they ever make a mistake on your booking. Their entire customer service infrastructure is designed to stonewall and frustrate you until you give up, even when the problem is clearly their fault. Oh gosh yes. We had so many bookings with Expedia that weren't actually booked and you only know once you're there. That one time I pushed them and they did an upgrade for messing up but seriously I'd much rather have my vacations go smoothly than get an upgrade. We actually lost a couple hours every time it happened, easily three quarters times, and won't use Expedia anymore. I used to work for a huge hotel brand and this would happen all the time. People would come to check in and there would be no reservation. It would take at least 20 minutes to sort out, and the lines would be all held up BC of it. On nights where we were oversold, we would have to send those reservations to other hotels BC we didn't have any space. I felt so bad for them. That happened to hella people on the night of a Taylor Swift concert, and I got cursed out by so many Karens. I only booked direct as a result. American Airlines. The explanation has been delayed for tomorrow or next year IDK or fucking care. Doug Parker has been the worst thing to ever happen to AA. I live in Dallas, and I'm executive platinum with them, and still get treated like shit. They keep retrofitting their aircraft to add more seats and less room and still have the nerve to tell us consumers that it's what we want. Their metrics are the worst in the industry. Parker will hopefully be tired Q1 next year when they miss their number horribly. Yeah Parker needed to go a long time ago. My bet is he gets fired by Thanksgiving if their amp and mechanic contracts aren't finished. Jiffy Lube dudes punctured my oil filter when they changed it, eventually ran out of oil like two weeks later, and made me drag their ass through claims, caught to pay for a pair. Edit, impromptu fuck Jiffy Lube thread. Edit 2, man this company sucks. Edit 3, never mentioning Jiffy Lube on Reddit again I struck a nerve. They did an oil change on my friend's car, but didn't put new oil in her car. This happened to a friend of mine too. Burned out her engine and had to have the whole thing rebuilt. Jiffy Lube offered her a coupon for 15% off her next oil changes compensation. Fuck Jiffy Lube. Shoulder sued. The same thing happened to my grandfather's Mercedes when he took it into the dealership for an oil change. Progressive. A lawn mower hit my parked car during work last year and it was terrible dealing with Progressive. The claims agent I got stopped communicating with me after a certain point and I ended up having to hound the lawn mowing company's owner to pay for my car's repairs. Oh fuck yes. I was a delivery driver for a few months when I was younger and had delivery driver insurance with them. After a few months I quit and cancelled my insurance, but they just kept charging me for it. When I noticed this I called them and they said okay, we'll send you a check in the mail for the amount owed. I get the check, 
cash it and go about my business. A few days later the bank says hey, your check bounced. I call progressive and their answer is we sent that by mistake and we never said we'd pay you anyway. I answered then, why the hell did you send it to me? It was a mistake. Do you have a record of us saying we'd send it? I answered no and there was a long cat and mouse conversation, where it came down to, we are not comping you. I cancelled in that exact conversation. In most states writing a bad check is a crime. They probably claimed they wrote it in error and cancelled payment on it. That's not a crime, as long as you didn't stop payment because of insufficient funds. It's just super shady. Bank of America. Finally quit them, after being nickel and dimmed, continuous $12 to $35 fees, for 20 years. Much happier with a financial institute that is both cheaper for me and ethically less shitty. Man, they were the worst. I distinctly remember in college getting massive overdraft fees despite not ever dipping into the red. Noticed that it always happened on or right after payday. Sat down with one of their apps and asked them to step me through the issue. I was religious about balancing my checkbook. Conversation went like this. Rep, oh, well you see you had $5 in your account on 9 over 14. Your paycheck for $250 came in on 9 over 15 and later that day you spent 30 bucks on beer. Me, umm, okay. Rep, well that explains it. Me, rep, that's the issue. You were overdrawn. Me, the check was direct deposited. I've been told multiple times verbally and in writing that direct deposits clear immediately. Huh, yes, but we reserve the right to process the daily transactions in any order we want. So we process the withdrawals first, you were overdrawn, then we processed the deposit and charged you the fee. Me, I'm switching to a lie. I also want those fees back. They gave me the fees back. I can only surmise that they felt like they were on thin ice with that one. Super dry because my friend and I were once at a snowboarding festival, and they were giving out free stuff like snow goggles etc, but their reps wouldn't give anything to us, because we didn't fit the look. Might please you to know they filed for bankruptcy in Norway then. Ultimate judges of mountain based snow sports. Perhaps you looked super wet. Wells Fargo. Our first mortgage was through them. After a couple years I get a call on the second of the month telling me my mortgage was due. I told them I had until the 15th. They told me that was a grace period and their investors preferred I pay on the 1st. I told them I would make sure I never paid it before the 15th ever again and their investors could eat a bag of dicks. We paid the mortgage at 4.30 in the afternoon on the 15th or closest prior weekday for the next 5 years at the local branch which was a half mile from the house. Good times. I dropped them after the whole thing where they got caught signing members up for services they didn't want, directed by their higher ups, and then fired a bunch of low-level tellers and bankers to compensate. Fuck that bank. USAA forever. I pulled my family's checking, part of our savings, and one of our auto loans. I'm sure they don't care, but I feel better about the situation. Movista. Once they downgraded my phone on accident and later were unable to undo the downgrade because they can't replace a phone by another model and kept me waiting for 2 months until I said fuck it and bought another phone. Are they exclusive to Peru? I recently traveled there and I guess I'm glad I chose Claro. D. This happened in Mexico. I moved to Tulsil. Levy. Since they went public the quality has dropped considerably. I stopped buying levers because their fit and sizing became incredibly inconsistent. There shouldn't be a 2 inch difference in front rise between two pairs of pants that are the same style and size. I went from Levis to Uniqlo. Cheaper, salvage, good return policy and the slim fit. Fits exactly like it's supposed to off the rack. Xxon still hasn't cleaned up on Alaska after the oil spill. 30 years later. What do you do with a drunken sailor? Put him in charge of an Exxon tanker. Point him at a reef and watch him sinker. Oily in the morning. Thanks Prairie Home Companion. Adobe. I never liked their subscription model, and then when administering licenses, the keys themselves end up being corrupted, and then you have to go through a tedious process to have them all corrected again. Submodels on popular software always suck. I wish I didn't have to pay their ridiculous subscription fees, but unfortunately it's industry standard in most places. Colon open bracket. 
And that's why pirating is a thing. I will never buy Campbell's Chunky Soup ever again when that brand was started I was hooked. I loved everything they made they had this one that had like small little burger patties in it fucking delicious. I ate at least one can a week it was my go to lunch as an unattached young adult male then they changed the recipe their meat turned to shit. Every soup had a layer of grease on it it was disgusting. I stopped buying their product and sent them an email about how they lost a lifelong customer in their response back to me they apologized and gave me a gift to make up for it, a coupon to save 50 cents on a can of Campbell's soup. Is that what happened? I used to love chunky soups. Moved out of the country and eventually one store started selling them here. Was so happy to have my wife try it. It was garbage. And I felt embarrassed for hyping it up so much. When they first did it there was a sticker on their can new improved recipe. Nah bro. It was a new shittier recipe that used cheaper ingredients never truest to Campbell. Especially Pete Campbell. That guy is shady as fuck. Oh dude I'm hikey sad Ken slash Don didn't beat the risen Christ out of him.